Okay, so we're, we're seeing inflation going up, and then with the removal of fuel subsidy and some of the policy being made by the government, it is said that inflation will continue to rise, perhaps even to the end of this year. And then the um, World Bank has said that Nigerian inflation will likely um, get to 25% in this year. Now, I want to ask you, if we continue to have an upward trend of inflation, what would be the ripple effect on businesses and households and the economy at large? Um, if we continue to have you know, an upward um, increase in inflation, I mean, if inflation continues to surge, I mean, we, um, you know, looking at it from the uh, from the business angle, I mean, from the business side, so we may, uh, you know, businesses may face, um, you know, higher input costs, right, which, uh, you know, may, you know, further reduce um, their um, profit margin. And, you know, um, this pass, you know, potentially may lead to reduce um, investment, this part may lead to reduce investment, uh, you know, uh, as well as, you know, some firm may also, you know, want to consider, uh, uh, you know, cutting their payroll. So, cutting their payroll. From the household perspective, um, you know, from the household side, I mean, if you take a look at it, so also may, you know, experience a decline in purchasing power as their, you know, real incomes, you know, get, um, you know, uh, eroded. So, and, um, you know, generally inflation, right, it continued, guys, um, continued surging uh, in the headline inflation, you know, will create uh, a lot of uncertainty and reduce consumer, um, you know, consumer and investors' confidence, you know, in our viral economy. And, I mean, looking at it from the side that, you know, it will also widen the, uh, you know, the negative rate return that is currently prevailing in the market. So, I mean, all this will, you know, will not, um, you know, all this will, you know, con reduce, you know, consumer and investors' confidence uh, um, in um, which powers we have you know the direct impact on overall economy and you know the economic growth and stability i mean